Uh, hey guys, my name is Davido Indongo. Uh, I'm a creative, um, I'm a graphic designer, videographer, and uh, artist by profession. Uh, so, as my career started off way by, uh, I, I started off uh, in way back in 2017, mainly, uh, where I graduated from the College of the Art. Uh, yeah, through going throughout this journey I was very uh, rough and tough. Uh, so, because I needed to find my technique that I uh, normally use, because I wanted to differentiate myself from different uh, people. Like, yeah, because there's a lot of uh, people that does almost similar drawings, whereby they use charcoal and all types of materials. But I wanted to, to differentiate myself from that, uh, meaning I, whereby I went to a, a self adventure whereby I needed to go to, I wanted to find out what can I do to do something different that not, none of the Namibians do or probably differentiate myself from the world. So whereby I found myself going to the north and that's mainly where I, I, I found my technique. Uh, so well my technique is actually the the pointillism style is actually found in I visualize it as the Mahangu grains. Whereby yeah, the Mahangu grains whereby if you combine that together it can create a lot of image. So but in that format whereby I just say, yeah, let me use uh, something smaller or something like that to create a different variant, a uh, different style out of it. Yeah, uh, from my inspiration, I take uh, my techniques, my artworks, they come from, I relate myself from the community. Uh, what I see in the community happening and it's what I come with. Because I'm a photographer, as I said in France. Uh, so what I do is, mostly I take pictures around, uh, try to get, uh, to capture emotions of, emotions and expressions from all what the people intend to to go through and all that and I intend on, on putting that on canvas so my main inspiration uh, is uh, George Seurat he's a he's a impressionism artist uh, basically so what he does is impressionism it's almost a technique whereby you paint with strokes and so it's almost similar to, to the technique that I do and I was amazed and astonished by that because the, the way he expresses the, the, the paint and expresses the, the, the technique it's quite uh, amazing though. Uh, okay, great. Uh, well my story, uh, what's, what's my story? Uh, what's my story? Uh, my story is basically how people intend on going throughout this whole scenario, this uh, situation whereby this pandemic, throughout this pandemic, uh, how people are actually trying to survive out of it. It's, it's a new thing to us whereby a lot of people, uh, I don't know how they are going throughout this pandemic stuff, but I, I think whereby this world right now is what we are Come, uh, we are going through the fourth, uh, fourth industrial revolution whereby people are moving from now doing live stuff, doing the technological stuff because uh, as this pandemic is happening we, we are not allowed to go to in contact with each other mainly also uh, so basically and then brings to my piece over here whereby uh, a lot uh, this way that a lot of people in the rural areas how can they like uh, go out of that situation to to bring themselves like in order for them not to, to go through that they don't have the equipment whereby they use phones and all that so basically my piece over here it's a piece of a young boy trying to sell uh, in a shawambo they call it on uh yeah he sells on food it's it's what do you call it? it's a um, small like grains and all that yeah so well, Shawamba people, they like, uh, they sell, so this is a, actually is trying to portray a street vendor. How are they trying to survive out of this? Whereby they, they are not allowed to go through to the markets, some they are not allowed to go to the markets anymore. So it's actually just a, a young boy trying to illustrate like, uh, what about us? So 
they are also internal type of forgotten because they are not allowed anymore apparently no no street vendors and all that so how should they survive from that so that's actually what my piece is also talking about uh, uh, it's basically like a question mark to that so how are, are the young people that trying to survive also that they don't go probably to school and all that so how are they trying to survive out of that uh, well my materials that i use is actually uh markers I use some um, uh, acrylic paint and something. Uh, also, I use found objects uh, to relate to to the, to the nature and all that. So uh, yeah. So uh, I, I most of my pieces that I always do it's uh, mainly abstract. I do abstract art from my inspirational artist uh, Judge Rod, and then uh, combining that with my own technique, whereby I use found objects and. Also, whether I okay, the the this it's an African attire that I placed on the boy over that. Uh, so just to illustrate that it's African, and also to bring out the statement that uh, how are they trying to survive out of that? So uh, basically, that mainly the if you can relate uh, on the on the plate, that's the mainly the the vintage almost like uh, the basin. So yeah, and provinces and plays an identity of, of the mask to illustrate that it's still the pandemic happening over there. So yeah, mainly uh, I use the the, the the acrylic paint just because it's more easier and more easier to, to paint. So yeah, it's easy to flow with the with the water splash now and then.